Oh, it does work. It's just a little bit late. All right, well, let's play Dome. What's up, Acanthus? How are you doing? You're dipping all your peanut butter balls? You would have played Dome? I get it. Balls come first. Ball is life. Dome, dome Keeper is not. Okay, we're well, doing that. I'm going to try the Tesla Dome again. I'm going to do the shield. Um, I do endless because I'm a psycho and I do everything else random because that's what I'm used to in this game. I'm going to see if I can get a good Tesla. I, my best run, I think, was yesterday with like 930 points. And I think I got that with the artillery, which is weird because I said I like the, uh, the Tesla one more, but the artillery one is where I got a better run with. Which is a little fishy if you ask me. You did nothing at work today, so it's time for a break. Hey, it's Friday, you know? Devil's got a three-day weekend because Devil was like, screw today, I'm not doing any of that. And all we can say is, I respect that. Why try super hard when you can just, it's Friday, you know, chill out, grab a beer. You're a teacher, please grab a beer. You, you're the one that needs it the most. You gonna play Dead Cells and you have a magic event this weekend? Yo, Dead Cells, I love that for you. Making the Dead Cells video I did on my main channel, uh, making that video made me really want to play Dead Cells. Like, I really wanted to play Dead Cells. And I still kind of do. But I decided since Dome Keeper added an update, I'll give Dome Keeper some lovin'. Plus, I feel Dome Keeper could always use a little bit extra publicity, you know? Holy shit. What an incredible first wave. What an incredible first wave for me. We're already up to Prestige 3. Great that I only have one of everything, but... This is a good start for the dome. If I had any mods here, I'd say, hey, let's do a prediction if I'll get a thousand points or not. But I don't think I have any mods here because it's so early. Well, actually, one two might be here. One two's always here. Chocolate horchata and chocolate rumchata for your drinks. You have 250 people coming to roll dice. Holy shit. Do you have to make enough for 250 people? Or is everybody bringing something? Well, we get a thousand points. Thank you, I assume, one, two. Because definitely cat's asleep. Hi, I'm here. Hi, Awan. It's good to have you here. <coughs> Jesus, that was a lot in my ear. As a prediction, what's up, Big Danny? How are you doing? Uh, give me carrying capacity. You know, you ever just want to start your morning off with a dome keeper run? Improving map design, you'll see. Hard at work or hard... It, you know that saying, working hard or hardly working? It's like, do you know me? It's always working hard. Working hard or hardly working, please. I don't got time to slack off. Try to stay up for the night stream. Should I start my night stream off with over with Overrider? And then play Exit the Gungeon after I'm done with the demo? Dome Keeper. 
There's got to be another resource here. Did they tell you how to boost plus trick? Uh, after watching my gameplay footage, Big Danny removed the entire tutorial. <laughs> That's how much influence I have. I can get the whole tutorials removed from games. <laughs> I'll do more absorption damage, I guess. It wasn't only me, thank God. I'd feel really bad if I was the only one that had trouble with that. I gotta really update, ev upgrade everything right now. We have a good start for this prestige run. Look at that, we got a solid 20 points. Got a solid 20. Danny really popped that ego. Do you think I have an ego? Please, I'm a content creator. Of course I have an ego. It's huge. Content creators are the most egotistical people ever. Good morning, GC forever. Future YouTube star GC forever. Guys, GC made an early impressions video for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Spoiler free for their first YouTube video. Their first like more edited down video. Chef's kiss. Watched it this morning while eating cereal. <laughs> So if you want to if you want to get an early impressions of Mirage, go watch GC's video. I watched it. It was only like six to seven minutes. Piece of cake. Oh no. Oh no, my dome. Hey, get the hell out of here. Oh, that was it. Give me video link. Okay. I'll pause this. My man's is fluffing me up here. Hey, for a first video, it was very well done. You should see my first YouTube video. Oh my god, my first video was horrible compared to what you made. There's GC's video. GC is trying to get GC's trying to get into the content world more with more than just Twitch streams and trying to get more into YouTube. And when my content friends try to get more into YouTube, I'm there for it. I love seeing people try to get more into YouTube because YouTube I think is the most valuable tool as a content creator. And I feel a lot of people don't utilize the most valuable tool. Well, honestly, probably TikTok's more valuable, but fuck TikTok. Sorry, shark. Sorry, king. I'll try not to do it again. Where's the bird? Let's play Assassin's Creed Mirage. I might make that a YouTube exclusive. Because I got a bunch of indie games I want to play right now. You ever just wake up addicted to indie games? I know you have an A1 because you only play big games like Dead by Daylight. But when you're a normal guy, a normal Joe like me... You sometimes wake up and want to play indies. Oh my god! Stina! Sleepy Lurk Burgle Banana. The tier three for 20 months. A little simple. Thank you, Stina, for lurking. Thanks for still being sub to Burgle as well. You exposed yourself as a Burgle viewer with that Burgle banana. 
but thank you for the continued support i hope you're doing good it's good to see you happy friday thanks for supporting hey river bunny good morning youtube exclusive is interesting yeah i have every once in a while i have some youtube exclusive games that i end up playing like brotato or soulstone survivors but i want to play assassin's creed mirage but i don't know where it's gonna fit in on stream i know i could just be playing it right now but i really want to play dome keeper i really want to do the dome so I was thinking maybe just after my streams, I play Assassin's Creed Mirage for like an hour a day and then slowly upload it onto YouTube as well. Like an hour a day. The only Assassin's Creed game I fully played was Brotherhood. And I loved Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I remember almost getting all the achievements in it when I played it on uh, 360. What's up, Nix? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Let me get my speed up. And since Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I'm pretty sure it's part of the SEO stuff. Like, it's like a freaking side game or something. Uh, I feel like I would really like Mirage. No, this isn't good. I decided to be an idiot and grab more materials. Not horrible. Not horrible. The best AC is three. Assassin's Creed three. Can't tell if you're trolling or not, Shark. Shark, have you... Shark, you come across me as a... Uh... As someone who would, uh, play Yakuza. Air conditioning three. You've heard of air conditioner. Now here's the new update. Air conditioner three. So much new air. No one likes three. Hey, someone out there in the world likes air conditioner three. Wasn't A1, but it was someone. I'm back, baby. Easy. Growing up, I thought Assassin's Creed looked really cool when I was a kid because it was a dude in, like, a hood. And I was like, whoa, man, that's so cool. He's, like, in a hood. He's an assassin, man. I was like, that's so cool. And then I never played it till Brotherhood. And I was like, oh, you know, this is actually pretty good. The amount of cobalt I have found is actually insane. What up, shiny Assassin's Creed? I haven't played it yet. I think it's... Jesus Christ, tier three. Tier threes are flying. I haven't played it yet, shiny. I think it's going to be uh, a YouTube exclusive game. Uh, sub account seven. Thanks for the tier three for 23 months. Shiny the tier three for 24 months. And Stina with the tier 3 for 20 months earlier. Thank you guys all for the support. Uh, I don't... I'm actually not even allowed to have air conditioning in this apartment. They said no window units are allowed. Which is bullocks. 
But thank you, sub account seven. Thank you, shiny. Thank you, Stina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the continued support. All of you, thank you all for helping me get that 70-30 split. If I can get 350 paid sub points for this month in November, I will have a tier... I uh, have a 70-30 split. And I'll be completely honest with you, we are on the road of having that 70-30 split, so... Thank you for supporting, if you do. Crawfish, thanks for lurking. Your favorite was Black Flag? I hear that a lot. I feel like a lot of people like Black Flag. Yeah, Tesla is really good for the little babies. Which is good for like two waves, because I feel like you don't see them too often. Uh, so the way Partner Plus works, you get 350 paid sub points in three months, three consecutive months. Which I'm very lucky to even qualify for right now because of how many tier 3 subs I have and tier 2 subs. But once you have it for three months in a row, you get the 70-30 split for one year. You get it for one year up to $100,000 earned. A lot of people don't like that there's a cap and I agree that there shouldn't be a cap. But I'm also going to say if I'm making $100,000... And losing the 70-30 split after $100,000, I at least know I'll be making enough money to live. So I'll have 70-30 split for one year, no matter if I lose the sub points. And then after one year, I'll have to re-qualify for it. Could you do the Tesla on top of the catapult one so it also kills the rock that they throw and damage them at the same time? Well, uh, if you time it like that, you probably could, but the DOT of the Tesla probably wouldn't do enough damage to uh, destroy it. Black Flag is the ones I've heard the best things about other than AC2 and Brotherhood. I've heard amazing things about Black Flag. Oh, jeez. I'm doing good. So if any of you also, uh, besides sub account, if anyone actually has questions on the 70-30 split, because I've been having the partner plus spiel for, you know, two months now. If, you, if any of you have genuine questions on... The 70 30 split or how it works don't hesitate to ask i know how it works mostly and i can answer any questions if you have any gc's favorite series is yakuza don't try to say it's assassin's creed we know that's not the case You have a dollar after you get the 70-30 split? No, I'm gonna need that dollar for rent. Cat also really likes Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I was looking at her played games on Steam yesterday when she was about to go to the store then we just started talking about video games. And she has like 120 hours in Odyssey. And then she was like, yeah, I was going to try to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I needed some account that I lost the info to, so that she never played it again. I guess we'll just go back. Thanks for the hype train as well. Thanks for the people that resubbed at Tier 3 in the span of five minutes. Thanks for still supporting the dream. Not bad. 
Not bad. I'm going to need to get damage up on everything, but... The amount of Cobalt I have found in the beginning of this run has actually been insane. So this run uh, has very good potential if I can keep finding resources the way I am. No plans to return to Infamous. That's the series that I always wanted to play as a kid, but never got to play because I never had a PlayStation. So I always just looked about, looked at Infamous and was like, wow, that game looks cool. I'll never get to play it myself, but it looks cool. I guess I'll take it. Oh, I'll come back for that next time. Jump into an epic 2D run and gun retro platforming. You have my attention. Random indie game. <laughs> you have my attention, random indie game. That has DM'd me. Or emailed me, I should say. I'm actually doing very well so far. Second sounds good, but not better than the first. Cat really liked Infamous 3, I think. She had that on PlayStation. She had the disc on PlayStation 3 for like Infamous 3, I think. Or maybe it was just the original one. I can't remember, but she had a disc on PlayStation 3 for it and was like, oh, I'll put it in the PlayStation 5. And the PlayStation 5 was like, you need to have PlayStation Plus if you want to play this game. And it's like, are you fucking serious? I have the disc. Just let me play it. Get the faster weapon movement speed. What for the, uh, the, uh, Tesla coil? Oh, jeez, I probably don't have time to do anything. I think it's only cost six, so I actually might be able to. Yeah, I might as well. I need to get me a damn, like, teleporter or something. I need to get some... Better movement consistently. has so much damn health. It's bonkers, man. It's bananas. Do I have ore down here? Thank God. Thank God. I don't think I'll be able to carry all this. Ah. Six, seven. Damn, I can't get the goddamn upgraded drill. It cost eight. Maybe I'll get uh, more points, I guess. Sure, PlayStation's sitting on Infamous, but where's the next Banjo Kazooie game? Banjo Tooie game? Where's the next Banjo? Take that, atheist. I 
Oh, it did blow up. I'm gonna heal. Teased with a Sly Cooper 5 that could never happen? Wait, did they tease another another Sly Cooper game and then they're like, that's not happening. What about Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? I remember renting Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts from a place called Movie Scene when I had an Xbox 360. And since we didn't have a lot of money, my mom would like rent a game for like five bucks and we'd get it for like a week. And I usually got to rent like one game a week. And one week I was like, oh, let's rent Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And I was, I thought it looked pretty cool. It fucking sucked. I played for an hour and then I was like, I'm not playing this garbage. <laughs> they teased the sequel and then said they never work on it. Wow. Why give, why give that cliffhanger and sequel? clenching moment you know it's like oh yeah there's gonna be a sequel oh no there's never gonna be a sequel was that the last game you ever rented no i can't remember the last game i ever rented from them was i rented a lot of games from that place that kind of sucked also good morning prod you ever just rent a video game and it sucks and you're like well there goes five bucks no you haven't because game pass exists now and you don't need to rent anything those places don't exist anymore Renting games doesn't exist. That's a relic of the past. Honestly, I'm gonna get the speed up again. Make this thing move. Speed might be the most important thing to get with this. Honestly, that speed was so good. Way to go, GC. You killed Blockbuster. What I hate is everyone acts like they miss Blockbuster when not many people even know what, like... The people that act like they miss Blockbuster are the people that never actually went into Blockbuster, I feel like. It wasn't anything too special. Like, it's cool that, you know, Blockbuster is a, you know, relic of the past, but... They, they, we don't need Blockbuster back. Good morning, Rhinos. Happy Friday. Hollywood video was better. I didn't have any Hollywood videos. The only place that I had was a thing called Movie Scene and Blockbuster. Blockbuster went out of business, or well, disappeared from New Hampshire, and we had was stuck with Movie Scene. A Blockbuster that was in my hometown turned into a paint store. William Sherman Paints, or whatever the hell that place was called. Ever, they anyone have a William Sherman Paints near them? Never seen anybody in there. I'm pretty sure it's a mafia front. Never seen anybody buying paint in there, but they're all they're everywhere. They're Sherwin Williams. Yeah, yes, that place. That's Sherwin Williams Paints, and the eye was always marked out at night, so it just said Sherwin William Pants. <laughs> yeah, Blockbuster would be a failed business in 2023. Sharon Williams the other day. Joel was their yearly customer. Maybe paint is really expensive. Hey, Joel, is paint really expensive?
Yo, can we chill with these damn enemies? Jesus, I can't keep up. There's too many of them. Holy shit. Getting a lot of points, but... We're kind of screwed. Waiting for new furniture that gets there in a month. <laughs> Sounds like me and Kat when we first moved into this place. We didn't have a bed. So we slept on an air mattress for a week and a half. Waiting for a bed. Then we also didn't have a bed frame for a while. Yo, shout out Terraria for being awesome. Even though I don't play Terraria. I know the greatness they done. Giving out money like it's nothing. Yo, Terraria, I am a game engine and I could use $100,000. Ah, shit. A one time... It's over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! It's over! Final score is 425. Damn. It started off so good, but I used all my damn cobalt. All right, we'll do another run. This time I'll do, uh, Artillery Dome again. See how we do. <gasps> Cat does not remember the Minecraft server. Amazon mattress buying? I mean, anything's possible. Did she ask you last night? What, about a server? No. Last night, she was so goddamn tired. After the stream, she barely talked. She was just so tired. She was like, yeah, I almost went to bed without dinner. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what? No, you don't really do that. Yeah, she doesn't remember Owen oh, a Minecraft server. If I brought it up to her, she'd be like, what? She's still in bed right now. She was in bed before me. I got into bed at like 1040 and she was already sleeping. And I was like, you know, I'm going to read my book a little bit. My alarm's set for 720. So I'm always like, I should just be done and getting ready for my nighty night time by 1120. So I can get at least eight hours of sleep and wake up five times. So I decided to read a book. For 30 minutes. It was a good 30 minutes. I finished chapter three of the subtle art of not giving a fuck. Oh, why'd I just get the wave counter? I don't want that. Must be nice to be able to read. Yeah, I got to read for 20 minutes. Unless you're saying you don't know how to read, then uh, skill issue.
I was elected to lead, not to read. I was elected to lead, not to read. Reading's nice, though, man. Reading's nice. After a big day of content creation making, it's nice to sit down in my nice cozy bed while my cats are being demons and dropping cups all over the place and making me question if there's a someone breaking into my apartment or if it's just them being gremlins. And then I just get to read a book for three page for three minutes before a cat is like, Aah! I'm just like, oh, yes, thank you. Don't leave cups out. As the, Nami has learned how to open the cabinet where there's food. She somehow taught herself to open the cabinet that holds all the cat food. So we had to take some weird fucking like blind holder that was used to move curves. We had to put that on top of the cabinet. So now we got some homemade child safety locks on the cabinet because Nami somehow opened it. One time Stormy opened the fridge. She hasn't done that in a while though, thank God. It's like, are you kidding me? It's like, can you not? This thing needs to fire a little bit faster. This is fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They teach each other in tag team. Dude, Stormy is already teaching Nami such bad habits. Like every time we open the door to go outside, Stormy comes racing to go outside, even though there's literally nothing out there. She just wants to go wander around the apartment hallways. And there's a text on the little app that we have that the like a the person that like keeps track of the building say like, hey, make sure you guys keep your animals on leashes. Animals are not allowed outside in the hallways unless they are on a leash. And I'm just like, well, listen here, motherfucker. I got a cat that opens the god and then runs to the door like she's an Olympian trying to escape every single time I open it. It ain't my fault that she's trying to run out. And sometimes cats are just too fast and you can't catch them. And then Stormy always jumps on top of the counter and we're like, hey, don't do that. So we put her on the floor. We're like, stop it. And now Nami also jumps on the counter and it's like, hey, don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> like, please stop jumping on the counter. It's like, hey, do you mind? I'm trying to, you know, put your dinner in a bowl here. Could you chill for a second? It's like, no. You're starving me. Bitch, give me the food. Use foil. Foil does not affect them. We haven't tried tape. But foil does not affect them at all. They bite through foil. Uh, Arlen, thank you for the 100 bits. Good morning. How are you doing? Orange will deter the cats. Yeah, they hate they hate citrus smells. I'm not gonna leave a bunch of orange peels lying around. I was thinking about buying double-sided tape to uh put it around on top of the countertop for a few days. But then I was like, I could just use the moving tape that we have, or you know, just any tape, and then just make it double-sided myself. Because you know, it's just tape. It ain't anything too crazy, it's tape. You're having coffee. Good morning. Happy coffee day. Do aluminum foil. Aluminum foil doesn't affect them. Well, actually, I don't think they've ever stepped on it. We one time put aluminum foil on the bottom of our door because Stormy kept scratching at it. And uh, we were like, this would teach her. And she just 
moved that moved it out of the way and started scratching at the door again. Good morning, Doog. God damn, man. This is freaking brutal. I'm gonna get my speed up. Oh. After this stream, I'm gonna put foil on just the counter and see if they start jumping on it. Because I'd rather have foil on the counter. I'd rather have foil on the counter than tape. You know what I mean? Tape, you get that sticky residue all over the place. And then you gotta clean it up. And, you know, it's not bad to clean up a counter. But, you know. You can not start scratching on the bottom of my bedroom door. No idea why. It's because if it's closed, they hate closed doors, apparently. Our cats hate closed doors. We don't know why they hate closed doors, but they do. They have something against closed doors. I haven't found any. I haven't found anything. Get that health up. Also, hey, fear. Played my first round of Dome Keeper last night. Baby normal mode. I cleared the whole cavern before I figured out you had to click on the relic nods. <laughs> Did you have a good time with it, though, Jefferino? Did you enjoy the dome? Was it everything chat has hyped it up to be? They need to always see what's there and everything that's yours is theirs. Yeah. Hey, Carly. Good morning, Bursty. Fellow Bursties, good morning. Good morning, Bursties. Good morning, Bursty crew. What's up, Chibi? Yeah, a little bit more dome. We already failed one run, so we're trying another one. We already failed one run, so let's try number two. You bought Night vs. Giant and liked it too? I actually finally got a second weapon in Night vs. Giant last night. Finally got a second weapon in the game. Or I guess a third weapon. Minus the starting weapon. Carly, I saw you opening up Pokemon cards yesterday. And I saw you pull some birds that were sitting out in a field. And I was like, that's a cool looking card. And I was like, oh my god, Carly's also now addicted to Pokemon cards. How did this happen? She's a streamer. You don't see the appeal of this game? That's understandable. It's a fun little game, though. I mostly like prestige mode. I love see I love getting all the items and getting a high score in prestige mode. It, it just tickles my feathers, you know what I mean? Do I want it? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't need cards. I haven't opened Pokemon cards in, in like a year. I sold all my cards as well. I just thought it was a good looking card. I just thought it was a nice little looking card, you know? Uh, let's deflect projectiles. Reminds me of Dig Dug. You know what game I want, Arlen? I want a Dig Dug 99. You know how Nintendo makes 99 games everywhere? Give me Dig Dug 99. I saw that on Twitter, Catloaf. Dave is getting the content update. Our man, Dave. Our boy, Dave. Dave the Diver. Dave's getting more content. Swiping at things on screen. The little guy in Dome Keeper is our new favorite. Hey. 
Devs will be happy to hear that. The devs could be watching right now. They live in Germany, so it's like 3 p.m. for them. Yeah. The FTL like ship game. I know FTL. But if you're talking about another ship game that just came out, I do not know. I drop this shit. Pirate ships. Ship of Fools? That came out earlier this year. Four to five PM. They could still be watching. I love the Dome Keeper devs. Love me, my Dome Keeper. And they comment on my YouTube videos. And it tickles me on the inside when they do that. They comment on my YouTube videos when Dome Keeper's the subject. <laughs> Fifty-four points, Jesus. Ah, I suck. There's gotta be some ore around here somewhere. What is this? Come on, man, where's the ore? Come. There's the ore. Mother load. Well, Dome Keeper, when it was first made, was made for like a 72 hour jam, like game session. Cause there's like a billion of those things where you make a game in 72 hours. And it was called, like, Dome Romotica or something? Romantic or something like that? Uh, and then it transformed into what we see today and what we love today. Now you know, I taught you stuff you didn't need to know about Dome Keeper. What up, Paul? What up, fishy? Hello. Suck it! Bro, I couldn't even hit it. What the fuck was that? I gotta upgrade that damn artillery so it can rotate more. Sea blib is what it's called? After this, remind me to look it up. I assume it's on Steam. You got me sold at FTL, because I actually am a big fan of FTL. I've only played FTL for like 50 hours, but I have cleared it a few times on normal and easy. Never have done hard because I value my sanity. Some people play FTL on hard for fun. And I'm like, oh God, you're crazy. Just got home from work, about to nap. You feel old? You feel old because you're tired? Makes you feel any better. Kindergartners also need a nap at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And they're not old. So what's wrong with you needing a nap? You did more work than them. You probably got more sleep than them. You probably got less sleep than them to say. You definitely didn't get more sleep. Okay, we can rotate. Get the rotations up. 
If you ever feel old for taking a nap, just remember, kindergartners need naps too. And are you a kindergartner? I hope not. For your sake, I hope you're not a kindergartner, because that sounds horrible. Actually, it does. It's not horrible. Messes with your sleep schedule. Needing naps. The only thing I remember about kindergarten is that when I was in kindergarten, I would, uh, my dad would take me to school. I don't know how to pick that up. I can't remember how to pick it up, so we're not going to pick it up, I guess. But every day before school, since kindergartner started later where we were, my dad would play chess with me. He would teach, he was slowly teaching me how to play chess and checkers. And then he'd take me to school and I'd be like, see ya, dad! He kicked my ass every time. And now, today, I don't even know how to play checkers. I'll be completely honest with you. Completely transparent, I don't know how to play checkers. Chess, I know how to play. Checkers, not a fucking clue. Checkers is the easy one? I know. I don't know how to play it. I could play chess. Not well, but I could play it. Dude, it's so annoying trying to kill these fucking things. The mortar, you're just, it's too reliant on the mortar, man. The reload speed is atrocious at times. In checkers rules, just jump over diagonally as much as you can. Is that it? You just move the pieces? It's not that simple, Carly. Listen, I, I'd rather play chess than checkers. I'd rather play chess against someone that has the same skills, the same skill and knowledge of chess as me. I don't want to play chess against someone that's like, oh, what's your opening move? It's like, I don't fucking know. I move a piece. Oh, starting with the knight going on the outside, left knight. Oh, that's not good. You should have done pawn seven up two. It's like, what? Just fucking play chess. I don't fucking know pieces. I don't got time to learn this. I was gonna say, I hate how much people sweat over chest when they all suck at it. Most people suck at it, let's be fair. It's like, just, just who cares? Just, it's fucking chess. Just, it's chess. Just play. Just move the piece. Chess always been sweaty. Yeah, chess has been sweaty in the park with a 75-year-old white man playing the game. Not 18-year-old twinks playing it on Twitch. I streamed chess for two hours once because I was like, oh, I could play some chess. I was getting backseated by people that didn't even play chess. It's like, yeah, don't worry. I watched the Queen's Gambit. I know what I'm doing. It's like, yeah, so did I, but I don't got the ego. I don't mind getting sweaty with a twink. Maybe a bit older than 18. 
I'll just play some chess and you can get that. There's a huge focus on professional chess players using sex toys to cheat. What? What, do they shove like a dildo up their ass or something? Get pleasure to think to do a move like two times faster? Tragedy struck Gary, Indiana High School as the local chess team seems to have found themselves in some controversy as their star player, Ben McGee, granted to be one of the best young chess minds in the world, was found shoving a dildo up his ass to gain a 3.2% faster advantage. Here's what the teacher, Mr. McConnelly, had to say about it. Uh, our star player, man, we were going to regionals and I can't believe it. Uh, man, I just, I didn't see Ben doing this. Uh, the, the advantage is definitely not worth it. And we're going to be taking this, this allegation and this investigation very seriously. Uh, we're going to make sure none of our players have any dildos around them. A remote control vibration... Someone using a remote vibration to send then signals when there's a better move. What the fuck? I like mine a little bit better than that. Also, what's up, Pound Cake? <laughs> I liked my assumption better than that one. That one kind of sucks. That's not fun. Cheating in chess? You're pretty pathetic. Let's talk about that. Guys, I think my run's gonna die soon also. It's not looking too hot for me right now. These these domes are these domes ain't loyal. You know what I mean? These domes ain't loyal. We're alive! Not by a lot. What up, curb face? Did the update... Oh, did something else show up with the update apart from new domes? They made prestige mode easier if you want to do that. And I think they also added some new uh, buffs to the dome in the middle of the run. Uh, like, I've had resurrections on my dome. Like, it restores back to full health once, which is pretty cool. Which would be really cool to have now, actually. Because my dome's about to die. General, they just made the game easier if you wanted it to be in some nice buffs. What's up, Sephirin? Good morning. I am doing pretty good. How are you? I'd be doing better if I could find some damn cobalt. Dome, please! I just need one little cobalt! Well, it might be time for Knight's First Giant. <laughs> oh, this is horrible! Oh, no! We're doomed! Doomed! It's time for 1-2's favorite game, Knight vs. Giant. No! I saw it coming. <laughs> ah, man. It's hard to get a run going with these ones, man. Hard. I don't know how I got 939 yesterday with the artillery. Did the exact same type of build as well. Exact same type of build, and I just pfft, took a dump. Well, it happens. <laughs>